I've had the you know opportunity to uh, play with so many different exotic instrumentalists as well as in the West uh, when I came to America for the first time I played with like a lot of jazz artists so I think I'm the perfect kind of uh, outcome of the fusion of the East and the West world <laughs> Hi, how's it going? Uh, that was a great show just then. Thank you. Enjoying now this year? Yeah, I was there all the days and been performing a lot every day, like three to four performances every day. Cool. Yeah. That was pretty impressive. Uh, what are you up to in 2024? I'm working on my second album at the moment and uh, also preparing music because uh, I'm touring with Greg Howe in uh, October, November, and I'm playing my album music in Japan, playing Billboard Live Tokyo and Osaka. So uh, excited about that. Really cool. So uh, where can people find uh, all the info on your website, socials, etc.? Right, so you can go to www.mohinidebase.in. That's my website where you'll find everything. Or you can follow me on Instagram at uh, D-E-Y underscore B-A-S-S. And uh, yeah, you can also follow me on YouTube uh, where I post a lot of content, just blogs and, you know, music videos and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> playing on once you go to Kea? Okay, so I endorse uh, Mayonnaise Bases. It's a Polish brand and this has been my baby for a very long time. It's a Komodos Classic 5 model and uh, it has Aguilar pickups on it. It also has an inbuilt OBP3 preamp. Uh, so I don't need a head amp, external head amp. I can just go direct and I'll get super power and just like great EQ. I have a lot of EQ options here. I also have um, active passive switch and I also have LEDs on the side that I can use when it's dark. And uh, yeah, I also endorse TC Electronic, Boss Pedals, um, Voodoo Labs, Dark Glass uh, Electronics, Electro Harmonics, and um, SID Strings, um, Groove Gear, of course. Um, yeah, I hope I'm not forgetting anything, but uh, yeah. And how would you define your sound, last question? I think uh, I like to call myself a fusion bass player. Uh, I know a lot of people like to consider uh, or call me as the jazz bass player. I understand, but coming from India, I've had the you know opportunity to uh, play with so many different exotic instrumentalists, as well as in the West. Uh, when I came to America for the first time, I played with like a lot of jazz artists. So I think I'm the perfect kind of uh, outcome of the fusion of the East and the West world. Um, you can definitely tell you're trying to mix, you know, yeah, both cultures. Exactly. 
the Indian conical stuff. So my slap stuff comes from like the Indian conical, the singing as well. Uh, so I view time very differently as a result of my history, I guess. It's very per percussive, percussive singing, just like the tabra, etc. Exactly, exactly. I think it helps you feel feel time in a more percussive way instead of saying like. If you ever want to say like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's really fast to say, but like taka di and it's done like seven, you know. Yeah, so. I'm a big fan of Shakti. You probably know Shakti with John McLaughlin. I'm listening to a lot of Mob Vision Orchestra and you know uh, bands like Weather Report and uh, Level 42 Sorry, and uh, yeah, 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 you know uh, Shakti, so bunch of that, you know. Cool, really. Thanks. Well, thanks a lot for your time. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the show and uh, have a great year. Thank you so much. Tá doido?